Fresh violence has flared up between Israel and Palestine. On Sunday, Israeli settlers attacked and torched Palestinian homes in West Bank. A Palestinian was killed in the incident, which is seemingly in retaliation to killings of two Israelis in the area. An aid group, Palestinian Red Crescent, claimed that hundreds were injured in the attack. The assault began shortly after a Palestinian gunman killed two Israeli brothers in the Nablus city. Enraged Israeli settlers blocked the streets after that, pelted stones and set Palestinian properties on fire. Palestinian media said at least 20 vehicles and buildings were torched. The deceased brothers were from a religious Jewish settlement. They were killed after a gunman fired towards the vehicle in which they were present. No one claimed responsibility for the shooting. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has urged people to maintain calm. The IDF and the security forces are currently in pursuit of the killer. We will find him, we will capture him and we will deal with him. I ask that even when the blood is boiling and the spirit is hot, not to take the law into your hands. I would like to let the IDF and the security forces do their job. I remind you that in the last few weeks, they have eliminated dozens of terrorists and prevented dozens of terrorist attacks. Let the IDF complete the pursuit. Don't take the law into your hands and together we will defeat terror. The area where the attack took place sees regular tensions between Palestinians and Israeli settlers. Just few days ago, Israeli forces launched their deadliest West Bank raid in nearly 20 years, leaving 11 Palestinians dead. For more on this, our correspondent Jody Cohen has sent us this report. In recent weeks, we've seen terror attacks, counter operations, search and arrest raids, rockets from Gaza and strikes on Hamas targets. And now, rare talks between the Israeli government and Palestinian Authority. The subsequent shooting by a Palestinian gunman of two Israeli brothers and the response of a group of Israelis taking the matter into their own hands underlines the tension on the ground. With further talks expected in Egypt next month, the short-term priority appears to be preventing further violence. This is Jody Cohen for Weon, World is One.